You ready, baby? to a new spot I ain't got a fancy camera man like other people uh, we go solo so I am heading out to three oaks I know you're probably like dude you fish that place a lot I do fish this place a lot I'm not gonna lie eventually I will start pulling up new spots on fish brain um, to go try out that's gonna be a, a series I'm gonna try to do uh, today though we got a special little gift in the mail on Friday that I wanted to come out and test from Guggen Squad. Um, I don't work for them. I don't, I'm not an influencer, nothing like that. I'm just a big super fan of their stuff. So this is not an advertisement video. This is just my own personal review video of the Guggen Squad's Mondo Kit. Um, if you don't know what the Mondo Kit is, go to GuggenBaits.com and check it out. And, or also, just stay tuned and I'll show you what my Mondo kit looks like. Everybody, good morning. We made it. We are out here today. I hope you can hear me and it's not too windy, but we're out here today. Three Oaks and we want to test out something. So there's subscription boxes everywhere, especially anything you want to get a subscription box for. I'm going to do mystery tackle box reviews as well, but today I got something special back here. You want to see? I got something special. It's not really a secret because I'm pretty sure I said it, I talked about it in the intro, but here we are, all right? Ugh. Sorry about that. Had to get the, the old bag off. You know, you don't, that's not, not anything special. You ready? Guggen Bait Mondo Kit. That's right. We're not a member of the Guggen Squad, but I sure wish I was. So we're going to test this out today at Three Oaks with some crystal clear water. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. So, in this box, you get a flat banger, a zinger, a juicy jig, crack and crawl, and the sun mask. The sun mask, obviously, I'm already wearing and you've seen it. And I got this box on Friday. <laughs> so I opened it up already um, and already rigged up a few things. I did not use it yet, okay? I, my intentions were to film Saturday, yesterday, but it was way too windy out here. It's still pretty windy right now, so we'll see how it goes. I'm praying that it's not too windy on the camera. But PSA, I vape because I used to smoke cigarettes for 20 years, and it's the only thing that helped me quit. Um, I've been vaping now for right around two years, and I'm all the way down to three milligrams of nicotine, so that's really the only reason I vape. So first, we have all of these came in like a crack and crawl comer color or summer crawl color so that's the zinger not crack and crawl summer crawl and then we paired it with the crack and crawl and then we got a square bill or flathead crawl color as well the juicy jig which that's probably gonna be the first thing we're gonna throw on today try that out Actually, no, we're going to throw on the, the, uh, the square bell. And then I got Crack and Craw's Blue Babies, and that's what I added to the Zinger and the Juicy Jig. So we're only going to use what's in this box today. Minus one other lure if we're not getting any bites. But we're going to start with this guy. So 
this little pier here is kind of like a man-built thing. Um, out here at this lake from all that rain we had at the, earlier in the year. And there's no outlet. So this water has nowhere to go. And if you watched my previous video, yeah, I caught a fish on the side that they're pumping water in from their boogie board pond, which makes no sense to me why they would pump more water into a flooded, already flooded out lake. Because half the stuff that they offer here is closed down because they can't even run it, also due to COVID. Um, so they, they're not even charging entry or anything into the place. Usually you got to pay, if you don't live here, five bucks. If you live here, it's like three dollars unless you pay for a city sticker, which is totally worth it. I was going to do a bait change, but I'm going to change up the challenge. I'm not changing bait until I catch something on this guy. And then I'll go on to the next one. Even if i got to find a bunch of different spots. That's not true. I may end up switching at some point. But we'll go throw this just a few more times. Hopefully we'll get something on it. hard and with this color <laughs> in this clear water on this choppy day but why not right You would go for it. Ooh, you got some fight in you. Come on, baby. Tie her out. Tie her out. You've been hooked plenty of times before, huh? Yeah. Heck of a fight. I'll come down there. I'll come down there and show you. Just chill, okay? I, you got trouble hooks in you. Yeah, baby. Heck yeah. Look how much he's been hooked. I gotta get him on a scale after this, but look how much he's been hooked. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I had him in that big hole. Wow. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't jump out. Look at that, guys. Yeah, wow, that's, that's a really nice one. Yeah, that's mom, I'm telling you. There's all kinds of babies swimming around over there. Four? Three. If it's four, I'll be so happy that'll be a PB. I could get this 
Here we go. Don't worry, baby. I'll get you back in the water soon. I gotta get your weight and get a picture. Three twenty-one. Thank you. No, 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 no. Don't start jerking. No, no. Chill. Chill. You ready, baby girl? Here, I'll get you back out by your family. Because I don't want you to take off and then hit your head on this rock. You ready, baby? Come on. Come on. Get going. All right. You're fine, I just want to see you go back out. Thank you. So as you watched, we got oh, that small mouth. That was a fun fight on this flat bill. If you remember, I was actually about to give up on this spot. Uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't, because that actually is now my PV on a small E, 3.21. So I was speaking to the gentleman over here. Um, I believe my first one was 2.97. And she looked like she spawned, so had I caught her in the fall, she would easily been over four pounds. But yeah, Guggen Bates killing it. Ooh, what a day! Um, cloudy, overcast, 79. Water, I couldn't even, I don't know. The water felt a little cold, but it wasn't too bad. But man, was it choppy! I really hope a lot of that footage isn't windy. If it is, I'm still going to put it up just because I want everybody to be able to see and experience Three Oaks with me. That kind of rhymed if you think about it. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get anything on the jig today. And we didn't get anything on the zinger because, like I said, a gentleman decided to steal my spot as I was tying on a new line after back and forth. Or tying on the zinger after a back and forth. I just kind of hurried up and rushed my knot. And then threw it out, and literally the first cast, I just I heard it snap and go flying, and I was like, man, like why did I get the bad karma instantly? I, I didn't really do anything wrong other than inform somebody that they were being rude. But whatever, I'm not gonna let it set the tone for my day. It did kind of set the rest of the tone for fishing because I ended up not getting anything. But that's a lesson to. To, to learn, I guess, you know, is you can't let your emotions get the best of you in certain situations. You know, nobody owns the lake or nobody owns the water, like Peric says. Um, so, moving forward, if somebody steals your spot and you inform them, like, hey, I was fishing there, I was just tying my line on, you know, or just tying a new lure on, whatever you're doing, and they don't want to move and they want to be in a, a jerk about it, I'm trying to watch my mouth, um, then just... Don't get angry. Let those emotions get over you. You know, take control of you. Don't let them take control of you. Realize that there's plenty of fish in the water to catch. Um, you already caught one there, so why not move to a different spot? Um, especially if you're doing a challenge and you're going to throw different baits, you might want to switch up the areas you're at. So, sadly, Guggen baits. I lost the zinger, even though I really wanted to try it on the Mondo kit, but maybe one day I'll order another one. Until then, though, keep your lines tight and keep fishing. Bye-bye!